Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform text classification on a very small sample document in RapidMiner. So first, I already import my sample data into my local repository. This is what the data look like. It contains 10 comments about Tri Airline. And in addition, I have three features. So for each comment, I manually code if it's about service, for example, I will code one. If it's not about seat or schedule, I code zero. So I manually coded all 10 comments for all three features. So my goal is to create a machine learning model based upon this data. And we can predict for each of the comments, is it about seat or not? Is it about service or not? Is it about schedule or not? So for the data type of comments is text. If somehow your comments was um, polynomial, we can right click and change it in here to text. For attribute role, we leave it as regular. Each feature has a binomial data type and the regular. Later when we construct the model, we can change them into label. Label role in RapidMiner is considered as the predicted variable also the dependent variable. And I will show you next how to construct this model step-by-step. Step. So let's get started. First, let's start a new process and we drag and drop try it to over here. Next, I'm going to use a set rule to define the label. So in the set row, I'm going to predict, for example, it's seat. So in here, I would select label. The next operator I'll get is split data. I want to split the data into different portions. Use one for training and use the other one for testing. So in this split data, I can manually enter the ratio I would like to use. So I will enter 70% for training and 30% for testing. So next, I would use the naive base algorithm to create the model because naive base is found to be effective mining the short text. So I point my 70%, which is only seven examples, it's a very small sample set, to the naive base model. And here is just by default setting. Then I need to apply the model using an apply model operator. And then um, use the model created as the input and then the other testing 30% testing portion to apply this model to 30%. And then we need to measure the performance of our classification. So we will use performance classification. In the end, we'll connect the performance to the results. In the performance, we check accuracy. We also will check classification error and mean square error. So when we run the model, the result turns to be really good. So classification error is zero in that it correctly predicted the zeros to be zero and which is two out of the three tested records and it also successfully predicted the ones to be one which is one record out of the three tested records so this is the typical example of overfitting model because i have a super small sample that means it may not necessarily um, or work for a larger population so in reality, I would need more similar to this 10 comments. I'll probably need 10 times more that 
to create a meaningful model. But this at least shows the process of how to perform a text classification and examine the results. And this is also what we call the confusion table.